وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وشد لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وشد أن محمد العبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد إن شاء الله تعالى in this contradiction I want to speak about إحضار الورود للمريض the person brings flowers to a sick person وترك ما ينتفع به من شريط أو كتاب and you leave off bringing to that person what will truly benefit them like a cassette or a tape or a, a, يعني, or a book, a kitab, Islamic book that they can read. You don't bring that to them. You bring them a flower. Are they going to benefit from the flower? What are they going to take from the flower? And by the way, it isn't anything يعني, we could say that is actually wrong or haram. I'm not saying that again. I'm just saying you can bring them something more beneficial and greater for them. A lecture, so they can listen to that. Or you could get them a kitab on this particular time that they're sick, a book on issue of illness and patience and in, yani endurance and resilience, uh, and tell them to read this book, the kitab Patience by Ibn al-Qayyim. Read this book. While you're in bed, look, read this. You see, or a kitab on tawakkul, reliance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, where the person has imaniyat, where the iman increases. You leave of this, you go for this. And flowers for someone who's sick is a norm that's become known for the non-Muslims. It's like something that they've become known for uh, as a norms that whenever someone is sick, they give up that person a flower. As Muslims, we should always just try our best as an underlining rule. We should always try our best to try to go against them in everything that we do. In everything that we do, we try to go against them. So if someone's sick and is ill, maybe get a, a recitation of the Quran in su of Surah to Yusuf where the person can listen to it. Or a lecture on this on, on the yani, this moment that they're going through, just a lecture that they can listen to in the, on, on their bed. Or a kitab that you read. If you know that the person loves to read, you get them a kitab. ولذلك الشيخ بكر أبو زيد رحمه الله in his kitab uh, التمثيل حقيقته when he speaks about the تاريخه وحكمه six, the 19th volume he talks about this issue of يعني giving flowers to someone who's sick and that he mentions that this is a, a thing that was taken from the non-Muslims they're the ones who brought it to the Muslims and the Muslims then adopted this from them so inshallah ta'ala let's be unique let's also try to be Yani beneficial for the people around us, especially our loved ones. We want to bring to them that which will benefit them, inshallah ta'ala. Anything which I have said that was wrong or incorrect is from me and shaitan and Allah and his messenger are both free from it. Subhanak Allahumma bihamdi ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. How can you do a two second action right now that will give you a share of the reward of everything we're doing on this YouTube channel? Simple. Like this video and click subscribe. Why? It will allow YouTube to recommend our videos to other users. And imagine the huge amount of reward that could be waiting for you on the day of judgment if you did that with a sincere intention of spreading the deen of Allah. You'll be rewarded for every single person who benefits from one of our videos as a result of your like or subscribe. That's an easy two second action that you definitely don't want to miss out on. Do it now, click like and subscribe and don't forget to make that intention.